Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. This is going to be what are their true intentions in love, Sagittarius. So once again, we are, uh, you know, all up in your person's business. Yeah, we are, and uh, with your permission, of course. And uh, I have some new cards here, and we're going to talk about those in just a minute. Yeah, I'm using all new cards, uh, and then I even have another brand new deck over here. It's a little bit exciting. I mean, it is for me, you guys. <laughs> Simple pleasures to see what we got, especially, you know, if you're living over here where I'm at, right, where they have taken your choices, yeah. So let's see what else we have, and they're supposed to be, you know, uh, yeah, I don't want to talk about it. They have, they have, all right, even if it looks like they are changing, all right, let's see what we got. And let's look at, uh, we have so far the drunkard, the actor, and the covering. So, you know, somebody clearly could be drinking too much, right, of course. And the actor talks about, you know, somebody who's not really being honest or they're playing a role, right? Of course, uh, I feel like somebody could be drinking here and not being honest about their feelings, possibly. Or they are, you know, trying to, uh, you know, like kind of fix their feelings with alcohol, right? We know we can never do it because we just go, we just end up with a hangover or feeling uh, bad the next day. Let's have a look at the covering here, and it is, let's see what that's about. I feel like that's a front, but let's see what that is, right? A front, uh, wearing a facade, kind of a covering, but let's see what they have to say, because I'm not the author, no. And let's see what we have. This is life tasks. When you have set your course, you can allow growth to take place, the covering. If you have created the right conditions, it will flourish. Tend it with care and love, it will respond because everything in our world has its own kind of life. You do not need to exert absolute control. Trust works wonders. Okay, let's see what else it says, though, because this is uh, like kind of impartial, kind of, right, or at, uh, not complete. And also talks to new beginning, conception. Yeah, a seed begins to sprout. Something is alive and growing, but its future is yet as unknown, is as yet unknown. <clears throat> a complex situation, the need for trust and confidence. Okay. Excuse me. Let's see what else we have. Does the minute grow into the huge? Does the acorn contain the microcosm of an oak? I feel like it does, right? Or does the shell contain just the idea of a great oak tree? The male seed flows and penetrates the female egg, <coughs> which then grows and uncovers a soul. What is that soul? A thing so vulnerable that it dare not whisper its own name. Wow. Tall and strong stands the grown man, and from his eye, eyes blazes that which he does not know. For what is a man? <coughs> this is about growing seeds with somebody and a new beginning, but it is about... This is the beginning of something. Yeah, the covering. This is the beginning of something where uh, this needs to be... Like, there's a, there's a situation between you and your person, uh, Sagittarius, that can grow into something beautiful, a new beginning. But uh, for some reason, it, it is unknown. Yeah. And let's see, this actor card, I mean, I feel like we already know what it is. We're not even going to look at the drunkard because we don't need to. We know we've dealt with a few in our lives. We don't really need to look at that. Let's look at the actor, and it's right here because it could be a little deeper. Uh, there's something somebody wants to nourish here, and they want to flourish, but uh, I feel like they might have fear, so they're drinking. OMG, right? Let's see what we got. The actor. Are you really doing something or only pretending? You may be in a temporary situation balancing two different demands or realities. This could be your person or you. It could be your person uh, with the actor. It isn't, a healthy, it isn't healthy for everyone to live on the shifting sand. So work out whether you can cope with this or if it is time to opt for one or the other. Yeah, your person, you might be making a choice or your person is. OMG. You're, I, whoa, I feel like this is about a new beginning here. And it is, there's like, there's fear here or there is the unknown about whether or not your person could be making a choice to like have a new beginning with you and they could also be pretending here like to you or with within themselves here 
because the drunkard card came out first. Like they might be drinking too much, so they're kind of playing a part here. They could be pretending to themselves. But this has to do with somebody wanting a new beginning and uh, being a grown person and kind of going after it. Like making up your mind, are you opting in or are you opting out? OMG. The actor makes you believe he creates and performs all the tragedies and absurdities of his life while you sit and stare. Wow. He evokes, he compels, he manipulates situations. He presses and squeezes and makes dull things appear shiny. Wow. Then when he stops, he points accusingly at you. This sounds like uh, narcissistic behavior, right? Demanding that you think and that you reconsider. He knows how you are all the time that he has been acting or lying, right? I feel like you have been growing fat in complacency. Possible meanings. Being called on to play a particular role. A temporary job or project. Someone who is not to be relied on, although they may have much, they have much of interest to communicate. OMG. Rumors, gossip, performance, theater, a drama in your life. OMG. Somebody wants to come forward, Sagittarius. Here, unless you're with them. Okay, so let's get into this reading. This is going to be a heavy reading, I can already tell. So let's see what we have with these heavy cards, right? Yeah, that's why they look like little weights. <laughs> let's see what we have, and this is supposed to be uh, kind of like the grid, of, the grid of the tree of life. Yes, it is. So let's see what we have for Sagittarius in the first one. And we have the Justice card. Somebody wants justice here. Uh, there's Audre Lord. Good old Audre Lord, and she was angry. I don't blame her. Uh, because they weren't giving women uh, their fair share. No, they weren't. So she had, thought she had to take uh, matters into her own hand. And yes, this was a long time ago. And let's see what else we have. The Toad card. <clears throat> and this is about humor and joy. You have fun with this person, Sagittarius. And we also have the Healing card. Okay, so you know, maybe they want to heal this with you. I feel like they do. But let's get into the reading. We also have the Four of Crystals. This is the Four of Pentacles, and this talks about control and security, the Four of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. And then we have the Page of Shells, which is the Page of Cups, Intuition and Inspiration. So let's see, uh, your person uh, might be at a point in their life where they really have to make a decision if they're, if they're coming forward. Maybe they have made this decision already, but the actor, somebody is pretending on some level, or they have pretended when you were with them, I'm not sure. All right, but for one thing is for sure, somebody's the drunkard, right? Somebody is drinking too much to maybe cover something up here with the covering. Let's look at your recent past energy, Sagittarius. The Ace of Cups reversed, the Fool card, the Moon, the Hermit, and the Star card. So you have uh, four major arcana here in your energy, and the Ace of Cups is reversed. Your person's energy is Temperance. This is you. It has to be you, uh, Sagittarius, because these are so deep, yeah. And they have the hangman, maybe they are Pisces. They have the six of wands in their, uh, in, their, in their challenge, and this is victory. And what they want is the tower. Nobody wants a tower. I feel like this is your person is in the tower, and they have been in the tower, and this is why they're drunk. They're a drunkard, right? Yeah, I like how we didn't really, we don't use that word here much in the United States, but I feel like in England and the UK, that is like, you know, and our language came from that. I feel like we did back in the day, though, the drunkard, right? Now we just call them a, you know, drunk ass or something like that, right? <laughs> That's not nice. Don't say drunk ass, all right? <clears throat> yeah. Let's see what we have. Uh, there's a joke about, what's that word here? Oh, that joke. Uh, I'm going to get it because it's a really good joke here. And if they, somebody puts it puts it on the back of their, their vehicle. Uh, I've seen it on the back of people's uh, vehicles. And uh, it's going to come to me, but I, maybe not in this reading. OMG. Let's, let's look at your energy. Instead of the joke, Two of Pentacles, uh, Ace of Cups in the past reversed. So you were thinking, am I gonna ever going to have this overcoming, uh, overflowing love with this person? Am I ever going to have it? Mm-hmm. 
the Eight of Swords, you felt really stuck. You were in this kind of bondage about it, like I don't know how to get out of it. Maybe I can't see a way out, mm -hmm. but it was major bondage for you. And the lady's all tied up, right? And the full card in the Three of Wands is your current energy. Judgment. This could be saying you're taking a leap of faith. This could say you have courage. Mm -hmm. You could be turning your back on somebody. Possibly here. You could be getting back together with them. With... Uh, Justice here. I mean, not justice, judgment. This could be a rebirth. Four of Wands. I feel like you don't know if you're going to get back together with them. Possibly. I feel like you, in the recent past here, you had, like right now, I feel like you have fear here about whether or not you're going to have this and whether or not they're going to take a leap of faith on you and turn their back on somebody. Pretty sure here. Yeah. That's why this card is showing up, the covering. This is like opt-in or opt-out. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is, if you get back together with this person, there's going to be a major healing. Yeah, it's not just going to be, you know, oh, we were attracted to each other in the past, and oh, we're back together, and oh, great. No, this is going to be a great healing. And the moon card is your challenge with the Knight of Cups. Maybe there's a Pisces blocking you or a Cancerian, could be, uh, you know, but this could be kind of dark. Sometimes this is, the, we're all in our feelings, the challenge. This could be sadness. Sometimes the moon can be sadness <clears throat> because it talks about moodiness and the cycles, all in your feelings. And let's see what else the challenge is. It is the Knight of Wands. I feel like somebody has to take, take charge and bring this cup of love. Mm-hmm. And maybe they have to sacrifice something because that's what Audre Lord is doing here. She's like, to hell with this. I'm going to sacrifice that little animal. I can't even tell what animal it is. <clears throat> There's dead animals or dead people in the water there. She's already done some uh, sacrificing. Yeah, she has. <laughs> and the moon, <clears throat> let's see, the hermit is what you want <clears throat> for pentacles. You want to hold on to a Virgo, most likely, for some of you. You want to hold on to somebody. Maybe it's Aquarius right here. Maybe it's a water sign over here. But for sure there's like water energy in this reading because the moon and the high priestess is here. Maybe it's not the high priestess, the hangman. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> you want victory here, right here. You want to hold on to somebody, you want victory. And what you're fearing is the star card and the lovers. For me, you're fearing that they're going to make a choice to come forward and heal it with you. Yeah, I feel like that's what you're afraid of. You might be losing faith here with this Three of Wands reverse. Like, your vision. Your vision is dimming. Because that's a visionary card and it's in the reverse. Somebody that you really love. Nine of Cups. Here's the man with the red fez, you know, and this is kind of cool here because he looks like he's in, he almost looks like he's kind of in a palace with all the gold in the background because these are the Golden Nouveau. Yeah, this is, these are, these are beautiful cards there. So let's look at your, let's look at what else you're fearing, what else you are fearing, and the Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you want somebody to, to be single. You could. Your person might be with somebody else. Because there's some major, like, why won't they come forward, right? That's, that's what I feel like your reading is about. And let's see, the temperance card, the high priestess is in the recent past for your person, and they have dropped a burden, the ten of wands. Your person, your temperance, your person might be Pisces, or <clears throat> they are dealing with one. And I was just saying, there's a water sign here, and here comes the high priestess. So we have three water cards here, and, you know... The moon, the high priestess, and the Pisces card, right, which is the hangman. So this person, and we also have a Scorpio card, right, so, uh, which is judgment. So, you know, there could be Scorpio or Pisces here. There could even be Cancer, but for sure somebody, there's a lot of water energy here. And in the recent past, your person here, they look like they dropped a burden. Six of uh, wands, six of swords reversed. 
They were thinking about it. I feel like it's to return to you. Page of Swords. Yeah, they were totally dwelling on that, thinking about it. Uh, they, you know, and they have the hangman now. It's in the upright with the seven of wands reversed. Knight of Pentacles. Your person might be Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. They could be giving up on something because the Seven of Wands is a card of fighting for something. It can be. Or it can also be resisting, but it can be fighting for something and really overwhelmed. But it's in the reverse here. They can be maybe no longer kind of fighting. Uh, this man is fighting. He's fighting somebody off here. Yeah, he's super overwhelmed though. But it's in the reverse, and this is their current energy with the Six of Cups. This person that you're dealing with is somebody from your past. And we are a Mercury retrograde too, yeah, so. But which brings back people from the past. But the point is, Sagittarius, your person here, I feel like is, they look like they're dropping a burden. And they're, they are actually, uh, I feel like they're dropping a burden here. I feel like it is about somebody else so they can come forward. I feel like they want to return to you, Six of Swords. They could just be thinking about it here, but they look like they are no longer so overwhelmed. Uh, but I feel like they're drinking. Somebody's drinking here, the drunkard. Ten of Swords reversed. This person wants to rebuild with you. They want to drop this overwhelming feeling here. Yeah, they're dealing with uh, a lot of issues here. I feel like they're dealing with another union. Six of Wands, Two of Cups. This is their, their challenge. And you were the first card in their energy, Sagittarius, as temperance. They want victory with you. Maybe your person is worried about their control and their security with the Four of Crystals. I'm using it here as an oracle deck, as an oracle card, but you know, this is the four, uh, this is the four of, of uh, pentacles holding on to security. And this is what you want, the four of pentacles. You want to hold on to them. Mm -hmm. But they could be, you know, concerned about control. Your person is inspired by you, and I feel like you're inspired by them. Mm -hmm. With this page of shells and the intuition, inspiration. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else their challenge is. Seven of Swords. So in order for them to have victory and be with the one they really love here, Two of Cups, Six of Wands, they have to leave, they have to escape a situation or a plan. But this could be, you know, if this is showing up in their challenge and you are their first card, they could have done something sneaky to you. And now that is challenging their return or their reunion with you. And we have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, they are Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn for some of you guys. Or they are a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Yeah. And in this reading, I feel like this is really true because uh, we don't see the King of Swords or the Queen of Swords in the reading. No. So this person is a water sign or an earth sign. I feel like they're dealing with the other sign. Yeah, and what they want is a tower. So they want an ending and they want change. This person is wanting change. Forward movement, maybe fast movement. They could be, you know, maybe drinking a lot. And in this energy, I need, to eat, I need, I need sorry guys, to either opt in or opt out. Like opt out of their situation and opt in with you. I feel like that's it. And I feel like they have been pretending on some level. Pretending to you, pretending to the person they're with, like fake. Yes. The Page of uh, Cups. This is what they want. They want to bring you a love offer. They might even want an apology. They might want to come with an apology. Because the Seven of Swords is in their challenge. Like they did something kind of shitty. And, the, uh, and this is mean energy, Seven of Swords. Usually it's like the robber, the thief. 
And they have the King of Swords, Knight of Swords, I'm sorry. This is what they want. They want to rush in here and bring change. But they're drinking. You can't do anything when you're drinking and you're drunk and you're hungover. You're like, oh God, I'll wait till tomorrow. OMG. And then the Three of Swords is what they're afraid of, the Four of Swords. I feel like they're afraid they can't heal the situation with you. And there's going to be heartbreak, something like that. We're going to go to the Extended. I really want to see it. Yeah, I do. We're going to talk all about them, uh, Sagittarius, like we always do. And uh, we're going to look at, you know, how they feel about you and the underlying issues here at hand, kind of like maybe what's holding them back. Uh, yeah, I'm going to look at that, too. I'm going to see what is holding them back. Yes, I am. We're going to see uh, also uh, what they're hiding from you and how they're viewing the situation and their true intentions or their future. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me. God bless. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And... Uh, yeah, and uh, if you guys think that they're telling what they're telling us is the truth about everything, about everything you are seeing, uh, you know, in the mainstream, yeah, uh, they are not. All of it's a lie. And go look at the Georgia Guidestones. Look it up. This is really what they want. Thank you so much, you guys. And uh, please don't make any comments here. All right. Yeah. No. If you want to make any comments, you can say, you know, power and lie. I really don't like you. All right. That's okay. But don't make any comments about that. All right. Thank you so much, you guys. God bless. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.